Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our fifth year of homeschooling, which is crazy. Uh, today, I want to share with you a little bit of what is new in our homeschool this year. A little bit of what's, what's new. Some of it we'll talk to talk about at the end of the video. So, this year, we are doing something that I am calling Mom and Me Monday. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you wanna know any more, I will try to link everything I'm talking about down below. I will also be available to both in the comments and over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I try to answer every comment that I can, every post that I can, every DM that I can. Um, I try really hard. Uh, if I miss one, somebody here will hopefully be able to help. It's a really great community that's growing really quickly and is fantastic. So. I have been talking so long now about Mom and Me Monday. So we've switched up a few things. We're doing a four day week this year, which I'll share more about in a different video. Um, but one of the things that we are doing is, I'm just kind of like personally, I'm in a little bit of a weird space where I am just really thriving from front loading everything. Like just getting it done, getting it done, getting it done. And then taking a little bit kind of a break on the backside. So that was my theory in, because we're applying it to, I'm applying it to my schedule, I'm applying it to my days, my morning routines. So I was like, why don't I apply this to our homeschool? Like what if I take this same school of thought that I've been doing and apply it to our homeschool? What would that look like? How would that work? Um, I, as many of you guys know, am a, a small business owner. I work from home and we homeschool. So I kind of just work around the girls and frequently, especially during school time, if I get a message, anything like that, I kind of get distracted. If I've got a video going up, things like that really kind of pull me in a different direction. And it's hard for me to give my absolute best to them every day. And so this approach, my goal was that I would front load our week with everything that we can do together. Everything that is really heavy they need me for. And then the rest of the week, it would be a little bit smoother, a little bit lighter. And so far, I have to tell you, it has worked so, so well. You can tell I'm filming in a different spot and that is because without this cart, I'm gonna forget to talk about something. So my goal was to sit here so that I could see this stuff and it would make my life easier. You know what, let me know, let me know guys. Let me know down below. Do you wanna see, do you want, what's on my homeschool cart? Like, is that a thing that you guys wanna know? Cause I feel like that's something I would wanna know. And everybody does this like, what's in my morning basket? And you guys know I'm not about the morning basket. This is kind of like morning basket in all basic senses of the word, except I'm not doing it every day. We only do it Mondays, mom and me Monday. Okay, so the lowdown. The lowdown is mom and me Monday is where we do everything that we can do together, together. I am all in. I know that we need to start by about nine or 9.30 so that we can finish up by 11.30 when dad comes down. It does take the most amount of time um, of any of our days of school throughout the week. So if we can start at nine, I know we're done by 1130 or so when dad comes down. Now, what are we doing and how are we doing this? We have started, um, my girls like to, when they wake up, they come down in their jammies, they're eating breakfast, they're not quite functional yet. So what we've started doing with Mom and Me Mondays, we will start by, now I'm taking the, I don't know, is it Higgy Hugga Higgy? I don't know what the word is, but that approach where it's like kind of like warm and snuggly and I'm applying that to Mom and Me Monday where everything is together. They don't have to be responsible for a whole lot of brain power at all on their part and we are just together and we are learning and it's mostly the read alouds and things like that. So what we'll do is while they're eating breakfast, we turn on and watch our Generation Genius video. I will have another video coming up on that and how we're using that, how I mapped out everything, but what we'll do is they'll watch it's about, you know, 10 to 15 minute video. 
through the Generation Genius lesson, which is their science lesson for the week. So we'll watch that together and then we'll go into the quizzes app and we will just alternate the girls answering the questions uh, just to make sure that they've retained some of the information. They usually highlight a project, uh, you know, a very simple science project in the video, which so far we've actually had everything for all of them. So shout out to Generation Genius. You guys are make that easy or, or I'm crazy hoarder lady. Both are probably true. Both are true. So we usually have whatever it is. Last week we did a, um, a rain gauge, which was perfect because my husband the day before was like, man, I wish we had a rain gauge. We had this giant storm coming. So we made a rain gauge out of a milk jug. You guys probably saw it in my day of the life video, like my get it done video. I only get right up here, but it was so handy. Anyways, so there's a project. And so what we'll usually do is one night during the week or like at a lunchtime with dad, we'll do the project together as a family. So on Mondays, we watch the video and do the quizzes the app. The next thing we do is we pop over and we let the girls, I hand them both a dictionary. You guys know I got those dictionaries. I've got them linked below from my Amazon store. I hand them a dictionary and they just rifle through it. They pick a word, any word they want, whatever looks fun, whatever is great. We pop onto Quizlet, we plug in the word and the definition and we're adding, we're kind of compiling a list of really fun vocabulary words. Like Marilyn's word last week was kerfuffle and was super fun just talking about it and then being able, as the pseudo hurricane came through, I guess it was technically a real hurricane came through, as <laughs> it's like, this is the kerfuffle. So we're using that with the xanthic, you know, means something that is yellow. Like we're having fun using these random crazy words, but it's been really entertaining and therefore everyone is engaged. So we will plug everything into our Quizlet app. I pull out my iPad. I have saved, you guys know, I talked about the audio files from History Quest. I saved like a batch of them in my Google Drive and I hook up my Bluetooth speaker. I don't hook up my Bluetooth speaker. It's Bluetooth. You don't hook it up, but I turn it on and we will sit around our coffee table and the girls will color their map or color the printouts that come um, in the activity book for History Quest. And then um, I will just play it and we will play the, the chapter and the history hop and they will color or we'll get out the plus plus and they'll continue to build while they sit there and listen to these being read aloud. From there, we will um, another day later in the week we'll go ahead and pull up the pages online or we'll do one of the projects this coming week we're going to mummify an apple but i gotta get apples so that should be super fun but we've had a great time doing those kinds of fun things together a couple weeks ago they were learning about sumer and ziggurats and so they built one out of plus plus which is just something they can do while they're listening and still being engaged from there we will um all gather around the studies weekly newspaper and i just sit there and read it to them we ch pull up the studies weekly website to see if there's like a fun game or a little any more information that we want to learn from that and then we go on and we do our all about spelling. You guys know that we're doing that together. I will have a video coming up on that later, how I'm doing that with two kids. Um, so far it's working really, really, really well for my kindergartner and it is very remedial for my fourth grader. Had it just been her, I probably wouldn't have gone up a couple levels, but I'm really trying to reinforce those very basic spelling rules because when she gets quick, that spelling goes out the window and it is almost indecipherable what she is trying to say. So it's not a bad thing that it's easy for her. It just is what it is. So we will do our all about spelling lesson together. Then I will read her spelling you see to her and we will go through because you know, those are kind of like fun historical facts. And then she'll go through and color code and we'll confirm that that's good for the week. Then, then we go ahead and plug in our math DVDs. One of them will go first, the other one will go second. They watch their math lesson and we talk about the math premise that they are going to be coming up to on that week. I've also started going back over some of Marilyn's all about reading words and uh, reading her story for the week. We then transition over and Marilyn is usually done at that point and we will do Big Sisters Mazdas. And I have another video coming up I think next month about, how, no, maybe it's November, how we're using Mazdas, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and read all of the reading things together. If there is a vocabulary section associated with that story, then I'll go ahead and pull it up in Quizlet so she can go over it and have it ready and available to her. And then that 
concludes our Mom and Me Monday. Now, it is a lot of stuff, but my girls have consistently told me that it is their favorite day of schoolwork, and they are constantly telling everybody how it's just not that much. It is by far, I mean, probably by a good solid hour, more than any other day of the week, but I think because it's such a different approach, it's been so much more enjoyable for them. It's been um, something that genuinely and truly seems easy. So I am not complaining about that at all. If they're happy, if it's their favorite school day of the week, that makes my heart so happy because we are sitting down, we are enjoying it. It is warm, it is fuzzy, we are doing it together pretty soon. It will probably involve blankets and hot chocolate because what better way to learn when it is Still really hot because I'm in Houston, but we'll pretend like it's winter. <laughs> Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this look at Mom and Me Monday. It's something that I wasn't sure how it was gonna go and I am now obsessed and in love with this and I don't think I am ever going back. It is by far my favorite. There was even a day where dad was able to take over on Labor Day and just kind of, once we told them what to do, fell right into it and they were ecstatic. It was fantastic. We've had a really good time. Guys, I hope you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up now. Let's talk about things that are new. You guys know, many of you know, I am actually a hairstylist by trade. I get very bored with my hair. And so I think I'm gonna chop it off, but before I did that, because you know, growing out hair is just, I mean, my hair grows pretty fast, but it's still really hard and like a pain in the hind end. And so I think I'm gonna wind up chopping it off. But for now, I was like, hey, let's do something a little crazy. And so what I did, look at this. Do you see, can you see all four colors? I've got pink, I've got like this bright, bold purple color, and then I have this really dark, gorgeous blue, and then like a teal on top. Do you, I am obsessed with this right now. Now, my hair is a very blonde. My hair is a pretty good turn dry, and it is uh, very porous. So I am all but certain that the first time I wash this, it will be looking faded and pastel, but for right now, it's fun, it's entertaining, and I haven't lobbed it on off yet, but it's probably coming. So just in case anybody was wondering, if you want to know what I used, feel free to give me a shout out. I'll let you know. Again, I am a trained and licensed professional. I know what I am doing when I do this myself. So I am going to tell you every single time, go have somebody with a license do this for you. Okay. Go spend the money if you want to have a nice and pretty outcome. I'm just, that's, that's my disclaimer guys. That's my disclaimer.